Hey Joe at Boulay's Garage. Now you've been told you need your valves adjusted in your Honda vehicle that has a V6 engine. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you have a little time to wait for it. Hold on, I'm gonna show you what we need to look at first before you fork over the money. Hold on. All right, so what you're looking at here is the intake plenum on a uh, 2013 Honda Pilot. Um, doing a valve adjustment on this particular engine is, is really time consuming. And you know, what's the sense in doing it if you really don't have to? Um, I'm not a big fan of this design of the Pilot this year because it sits down so far in the engine. Now to do a valve adjustment, you're gonna get the valve covers off, and to do that, you're gonna pull this whole plenum up out of the way, the wiring harness out of the way, um, and oftentimes you get in there and you do the adjustment, and a lot of them really aren't that far out of adjustment or out of spec. So I'm gonna show you what we can look for as far as map sensor voltages and readings to tell you when you need to do the valve adjustment. See, if your valves are noisy, you hear them ticking in the engine, then you obviously know that they're loose. But how do you know when they're tight? I'm going to hook a scan tool up and see if this one needs a valve adjustment. And we're going to look at map sensor voltages. Hold on. Okay, so I got this 2013 Honda Pilot idling here. And our map sensor voltage is right about... 0.82 at idle which is good so what that means is the exhaust valves aren't leaking by if that reading was approaching 1 volt that would indicate um, the valves exhaust valves are starting to leak by now if you hear an annoying ticking noise in your engine that could indicate um, excessive valve clearance between the intake valves and the exhaust valves but if you suspect that you know maybe the valves might be tight then you can always find out by hooking a scan tool up and looking at map sensor reading and a map sensor stands for manifold air pressure now um this car this pilot can kind of wait for a valve adjustment um you know if your valves get tight they burn out and then you end up with a very expensive engine repair and you don't want that to happen so yeah try to avoid it if you can because it is costly and it's a labor-intensive job on the v6 engines the four cylinders is really easy for the most part anyway I hope this video has helped you like and subscribe I really appreciate all your support and uh, share the video with your friends thanks